Okay guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be testing out this UMPF lithium iron phosphate battery. It is full, I have filled it up, so we no longer need that, so you want to, I wanna test this uh, battery with it being full. Also, you can see here, well let's talk about the weight. The weight of this battery, I mean, look at this guys. These batteries are probably 25, 30 pounds. Actually, you know what? I got a scale over here, let's put it on the scale see if my scale will uh, register this, see how much this thing weighs. We'll start off, or wait, start off with weight, but these lithium iron phosphate batteries, guys, are extremely light, but you can also see here on the voltage, on the screen, that is full. We're at 13.5, charged up, 100%. That is considered a full battery, and we'll put this to the test and see if this thing really is going to give us 100 amp hours. But first, let's weigh and see how much this thing weighs. Okay guys, so this says it will go up to 50 pounds. So let's put this battery on here and see how much this thing weighs. Look at that guys. This thing weighs 23 pounds. I don't know if you guys can see that there. That is extremely light compared to a regular, you know, acid battery. Actually, I have one, we'll go put that on. But 23 pounds this thing weighs. So I'm gonna take it off now and I'm gonna go get a regular uh, lead acid battery, put it on for you and show you the weight difference. All right, well, let's put this one on here. This is the lead acid battery. Let me get this out of the way so we have it nice and even. There you go, guys. 42 pounds this uh, lead acid battery is right here. And same size, no bigger, no smaller. Look at that. So you're talking pretty much almost double the weight from a lithium iron phosphate battery. Another advantage to these batteries right here, guys, is I have noticed, and I've tested it, because I have another one, is I left it off, sitting on the floor of one of them for exactly one year. And the reason why I'm testing this specific brand, and we're gonna test other brands, but this brand is mainly in the 2019, 2021 toy hauler attitudes. Um, a lot of other companies are using them also putting this uh, UMPF brand in there. So I have two of these, another one over there. It's been sitting for a year, guys. It has not dropped. No lies, not one volt. So one thing I've noticed about these batteries is you can let them sit and they will not lose any power. I mean, it's, it's incredible the technology behind this, but let's now test this specific brand see if we're going to get the advertised 100 amp hours that this battery puts out. What we're going to do is I'm going to hook it up here to, I've got a heat sink right here. And what this is gonna do is we're going to adjust the voltage and amperage all by these dials right here. And I will show you here on the screen and we're gonna let this thing just sit and run and see how long we can get if we're getting a true 100 amp hours out of that battery. Okay guys, so we're going to hook the negative to the negative and the positive to the positive here. And we're going to hook up or give it power to our machine right over here. Okay guys, so now what we're going to do here is we're going to turn up the voltage. As you can see here, the fan kicks on so I don't know actually I'm gonna change the settings for you guys so it can be a little more clear but I like this setting right here so we're going to turn up voltage here a little bit so it is at now remember this max guys can only go to 185 so you can see here it's at 147 we're gonna turn up oh see it went past it so we're gonna use this dial now to try to reset or try to get as close as we can to that 180 marker. All right, let's try it again. So here we go, we're at 113, 142, one, one's almost 170. So we'll go to, there we go. 181, so that's pretty dang close right there. It's pulling 14.2 amps. The battery is currently down to 12.7. So what we're gonna do now, guys, is well, we're just going to leave this here 
and see what happens. Put it to the test. We're going to see here's the watt hours, here's the time, amp hours, and the watts. Okay guys, so you can see here, it's been three hours and 34 minutes right now. It's down to 12.4 to five fluctuating. The cutoff on these lithium iron phosphate batteries, you shouldn't go no less than about 11.6, 11.5 is my you know lowest cutoff point. She has pulled so far 51.30 and it's counting right now, 38 amp hours and still continuing at 14.3 amps 180 watts she has pulled 649 watt hours so if this is accurate in another three hours this battery should die because it is a 100 amp hour battery so we should have used 50 percent of it if uh, this is correct and we get the full 100 amp hours so We'll see, we'll just continue to let this run for probably another three hours and uh, we'll come back. Okay guys, so we just hit the cutoff here, 11.5, and we're at 1,068 watt hours. Oops, and 85.35 amp hours at five hours and 56 minutes. Now I know you guys are telling me probably what, you ran it only to 11.5, all right, there you go. That's nearly empty, guys, for a lithium iron phosphate. Now, you don't want to go any lower than that. And that's the whole point of these tests is this battery shutting off pretty much at the 11.5 right there. You're going to only get 85.35 amp hours out of it. Now, don't worry. I will be getting more batteries to test. And I keep the cutoffs at 11.5 on all of my lithium iron phosphate batteries. Now guys, I'm sure a lot of you gonna ask, Eddie, why don't you go down to the 10 volt marker? You know, this should be a full charge 14.6 to do your battery capacity test and 10 volts. Reason why I don't like to go uh, at that 10 volt cutoff is because a lot of toy haulers, if you're gonna get one, or my example, um, you know, my inverter, it cuts when you set the battery and the charging system to the uh, lithium iron phosphate and cuts it off at 11.5, 11.6, you know, some of them. Uh, that's the safe mark, so you don't damage any of the cells that are in the pack. Now, could I have gone to the uh, 10 volts? Of course, I'm sure I would have got the 100 amp hours, but because I stopped it and killed it at the 11.5, uh, we got 85 amp hours, so which I'm okay with that because more, you know, the, the real life is you're not gonna run this thing all the way down to 10 volts. You don't wanna run this thing all the way down to 10 volts. It's not good for the battery. So that's why I stopped it at that 11.5 volts. So what this tells me guys is pretty much if you do have one of these in your toy hauler or you're using it for whatever reason and it's going to set, you know, you're gonna set that cutoff to 11.5. Now, if you wanna take this cutoff to zero and you know, I mean, you can do it, it's up to you, but you're going to risk damaging a cell in here. So if you're going, I highly recommend you, uh, if you're going to keep it at that 11.5, look at about 85 amp hours uh, out of this thing. So if you have two, obviously you'll double it, but for one of these, when you guys see that 100 amp hour mark right there at the 11.5, you're you know talking 85. Probably the next question you're gonna ask me is, well, are there any batteries that cut off to, you know, or cut off that 11.5 and will give us more? Well, that's what we don't know. That's what I'm gonna be doing these videos for you guys. That's what we're going to find out. And also stay tuned, we're gonna do a video on the Jackery 1000 over here. Uh, I'm charging it up full. We're gonna do the same thing, uh, test it, and see, you know, if it's a pure sine wave, like it says on it, there's a pure sine wave inverter. Uh, we're gonna confirm that, put it under the load, you know, run a bunch of tests on this thing for you guys also, so stay tuned for that next video. That's all I got for you guys today on the lithium iron phosphate UMPF battery. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, and don't forget to click subscribe. Thank you guys.